Do you know what is LLM distillation and how you can distill a small language model from a large language model like GPT-4? So in this video, I'm explaining you all of this. Hi guys, welcome to Freebird's View and in this video, I'm going to teach you about LLM distillation and how you can distill any large language model to a small language model that works same as the large language model like GPT-4 but keeping their small size. And in this video, I'm implementing and explaining this research paper along with the Hugging Face Auto Train model distillation and the Python code implementation to distill a large language model as well. So, large language model or the teacher language model are so big that they cannot be efficient for smaller tasks or any kind of small or mid-level companies. So, that's where we can use smaller language models that can learn from the teacher language model and keeping their size small but their efficiency is close to the teacher language model and that can perform the task efficiently. Wow, that's a super sane power we need. So let's get started. So let's imagine you are a student and trying to grasp the complex subjects. So instead of just memorizing every answer, you are you can benefit from understanding the step-by-step -step reasoning behind the solutions. So this approach clarifies the current problem and also you can tackle the similar problems in the future as well. Okay, so let me just tell you what is LLM distillation. So LLM distillation is just like an apprentice learning from the master, just like the Naruto learning from Jiraiya about the Rasengan. So that means the teacher is transferring their knowledge to the student. But in the traditional way, a smaller language model is trained to replicate the performance of a larger language model and traditionally this can be done by feeding the student language model the final answers of the larger language model or the teacher language model. But this approach has a two major problems. The first is it requires a massive amount of training data and the student does not fully understand the reasoning process behind those answers as well. So that's where the distill step-by-step -step process come. This is the same process that this research paper is explaining. Okay, so it's a method that change how the smaller language model can learn just by focusing on the reasoning steps behind the answer instead of the final output. So this method enhances the student's understanding and enables it to perform at a level comparable to or even surpassing the teacher language models as well and all with the less training data. Okay, so now let's move to the working of this distilling step-by-step -step process. So in the step one, we are extracting the rationals from the teacher language model. That means the uh, reasoning behind the answers. So instead of giving the final answer, the teacher model is prompted to explain its reasoning step by step. And this is done by using the chain of thought prompting and a technique that makes the AI show its work. Just like a math teacher explaining students to uh, solve the question with the calculations as well. Okay, for example, uh, let's just say uh, Jessie's room is 11 feet long and 15 feet wide. So if she already has 16 square feet carpet, how much more she need? Okay, traditional method would give you direct answer that is 149 square feet. But with the help of a step-by-step -step distillation, the answer is first it calculate the area, then it uh, subtract the existing carpet area, then it gives you the final answer as well. That's how the teacher explained to the student how to perform the task with all the steps required to complete it. Okay. And now in step two, we train the student model. Now that we have the teacher model reasoning steps, we train the student model with a multitask learning approach. Okay. So in this, our first task is to predict the correct answers. Okay, that what is the correct answer of this whole reasoning and the second task is to generate the correct reasoning steps just like the teacher model do. Okay, we need to replicate the same thing that the teacher would do by using this multitask approach. Okay, and why this work? Because instead of blindly copy pasting the answer, the student learns the underlying logic and this makes the student more data efficient and it learn faster with better training and less training data as well. Okay, so that's how the student training on the reasoning step generated by the teacher model. Now, in the last step, step 3, we deploy a powerful small AI model. Once trained, student model can solve new problem using its learned reasoning processes. And the best part, it can outperform the teacher model while being the 500x smaller and using the 50 to 80% less training data as well. And the results, according to this research paper, as 77 million T5 model outperform the 
540 billion palm with just 80 percent of the training data so that's amazing so that's how the students solve the problem by building solution with reasoning and logics better than their master and teacher just like the naruto okay so now now let's talk about the real world applications so we can use it in the ai chatbots medical ai autonomous vehicles finance and trading education and the LLM distillation can redefine the AI efficiency and instead of relying on the massive amount of data, we can create the smaller models that can work better than the larger or the teacher models as well. Okay, now, so now let's get into the coding and implement this part as well. Hi right, guys, so as you see my this Python code that in which I am choosing Python to uh, follow this kind of a research paper. Okay. And uh, the approach that is discussed in this research paper, we are applying the same by using our Python code as well. Okay, so first thing we load our all the necessary libraries here. We load the student model that we are going to use. Okay, and based on that, we are also loading our uh, data set as well that uh, the SST2 from the hugging face. Okay, and I load only the 10 rows because of the compute issue because I don't have that much kind of a space or RAM to uh, process this whole kind of uh, data set as well. Okay. And then I load our teacher model here. Okay. So this teacher model I use, it is basically the DeepSeq R1 model. Okay. And uh, I use the Olama here to load this kind of a model from the local host. And if you don't know how to load this Olama model by using the local host, you can check this my video. I, I will put the video link in the description as well. Okay. So once I load this Olama model by using the chat Olama function from the LangChain Olama, I generate the rationals. Like I generate the reasoning behind the answer that it will try to give. Okay. So I just pass this kind of prompt and based on this prompt, whatever the input I give to this kind of function, it will generate a keep like a step by step approach that how this answer would come okay and that's the same thing will happen here it will give me this kind of a complete reasoning behind this kind of a final answer as well okay and uh, now i just try to uh, generate these kind of uh, rationals for this kind of a data set as well and for that i make this kind of a function it takes the input of my preprocess data on my data set and it takes the sentence and generate that kind of uh, rationals for this kind of a sentence and then it will convert it into the embeddings or our kind of encodings as well and then make my final kind of a variable that is called pre-process data set and that has the sentence label the attention mask along with the relationals and relational mask as well okay so now i have a complete data with the reasoning behind the answers as well now it's time to train this okay so for that i make this kind of a training arguments here the output dr the approaches the learning rate the number of approaches as well everything i defined here okay and now now it's time to training process that how we train we train it with the help of multitask trainer but the multitask trainer will do what it will take the inputs and try to generate the outputs or the predictions by using the student model as well this is the same student model that we load above okay and it will generate the output and based on that output it try to calculate the cross entropy loss so that we can compare that how efficient our student model as compared to the teacher model as well and then we just make a trainer object here and try to train dot train and when we do that it will uh, start the training process and at the end we will get our student model okay that is used for all kind of smaller tasks that this large language model can do okay so that's how you can uh, use the uh, distilling step by step approach to uh, distill a larger model to a smaller model as well now now let's talk about the auto train okay so the auto train is actually a hugging face ui interface that can help you to distill any kind of a large language model to a smaller language model you can just need to provide the reasoning of a large language model in the json or in the csv format as well so that's the same thing we are uh, doing here so here i just try to create the data for my auto train i i have data in this kind of a format that i want okay so for that i just passed for example in the data set I pass my sentence, label and generate the reasonings as well and then make my final CSV file. 
and then I pass this kind of a CSV file into this training data and uh, mention my column mapping to the target here because my uh, target column is the label column as well. Okay, that's why I pass this kind of a target column and then I select the base model as well. So what kind of a smaller model I need to train uh, by using the deep seek uh, reasoning as well that me I need to choose from here. I can choose any model from here. Let's just say I just choose a very smaller model that is called this is tiny LLMA. Okay. When I have this, I just need to go to the uh, select the kind of approach as well. I just try to do it for the text classification approach and what is the local and the parameter. I need to go to the full parameters as well. And then that's it. That's it. You have to uh, decide as well. My text is in the sentence column right my text is in the text column right my text is in the text column i just upload the file here choose my model choose my project name and start training and once we start training it will train your whole uh, smaller model based on the reasoning step generated by the large language model or the teacher language model and provide you the uh, smaller model that that is your distilled model as well okay that you can use and do same kind of a task that a teacher model can do as well Okay, so that's how you can uh, do the LLM distillation by using the Python, by using the Hugging Face Auto Train as well. And you can read this kind of research paper. It is very, very uh, informative as well. I will put the link of this uh, research paper in the video description as well. Oh, guys, and in our next video, we'll talk about the AI agent, that how they work and how you can build it and what are the like open source techniques or free techniques that you can use to build your own AI agents. So just be with it. If you want to learn about generative AI prompt engineering or RAG and LLM, you can watch my videos on YouTube and also read my blogs on Medium. We'll meet in our next video. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.